I had a huge fight with my neighbor. We befriended each other last year and got into this argument that got so bad, two other friends stepped in to calm things down. Now, we were not close to getting physical. Listen, he's 6'2", just a little taller than me, but beat me at arm wrestle once, so no fist fight for me. I'll spare you the details on why we started raising our voice, but in short, we had two different upbringings and some jokes he said upset me, which prompted me to say things that also hurt him. In his head, I was being petty for something that felt harmless and I was annoyed that he had no empathy towards my feelings. I thought my emotions were being invalidated and true friends would never do that, right? Well, welcome to growing up, Jeffrey. The world doesn't revolve around you. Basically, there's two sides to an argument and until we could see each other's perspective, we wouldn't solve this, but it's hard when emotions get involved because we lose some of our rationality. I hate confrontation. I usually take it as a sign we don't get along and leave. But I love the guy. We weren't fighting to be right. We were just fighting to be hurt, which we eventually did and apologized. You see, I don't want him to be on his tippy toes and afraid to make jokes around me. So I'm also learning to let go of my past and thicken my skin. Friendship is a two way street. It's tough to know when it's one worth fighting for, especially after your 20s, because people come and go. Have you ever been in disagreement with a friend? Because last week, 